Level 43 class, this is a homework example from 4B, problem number 11. So you're asked how long it will take money in an account to triple if the APR is 6.2% and it's compounded annually. So again, if you download those uh, chapter 4 calculators, I have an Excel. For this one, this is 4B, so you need the 4B one. There's two of them. Here you need the uh, compound interest calculator because we're talking about compounding. All right, now the things you need to know here for sure, or you have to have in here, is the APR is 6.2, so 0 0.062. N is the number of times it's compounded in a year, so annually means one. All right, this is what we're trying to find. We're going to change this number around. But all we need to do here is just pick a number. It doesn't tell us how much is in there initially. So just pick a number for P. I'm going to put 1,000. And we're trying to get something to be about 3,000 right here, okay, for the round of the nearest cent. So what we do is just play around with this um, value for Y. This is where everything uh, is, is going to be for this problem, because it's asking how long. So just play around with this. Notice right now we're above 3,000. We're wanting it to triple, so we need it to be 3,000. So we need to go down. So if I went down to like 15, I go down too far. So now I need to go back up, and it's just playing around with that until you get this number to be 3,000. So 18 is too small, 19 is too big, so 18 and a half, still too big, 18.2, right, too small. And you keep playing with that number until you get this to be 3,000. All right, notice the problem says around a one decimal place. So if we go back to our Excel spreadsheet, right now I got an 18.26, and it's a little bit below 3,000. If I change it to 18.27, it goes beyond 3,000. So somewhere between 18.26 and 18.27, it hits that number. It wants us to round to one decimal place, though, so both 18.26 and 18.27 both round to 18.3. So I'll write in 18.3 years okay so that's the way you would do it with the calculators that you have uh here all right um it it actually you, you would need logarithms to do this problem uh without using these excel spreadsheets and tinkering with them and if you don't know logarithms we, we do discuss them in chapter five uh briefly but um the little shortcut here for logarithms is the, the answer that you're after is uh, the log, I'm going to use log 10, it doesn't really matter which one you use, but I use log 10, base 10 log is the common log, of what you're wanting it to multiply by. So we're wanting it to triple, so that's multiplying it by 3, and you divide it by the log, and you have to keep the same log base, so log base 10, of 1 plus the rate as a decimal. So 1 plus 0 0.062 would be 1.062. So there's the rate as a decimal, 0 0.062. I'm just putting it after 1. And that's exactly how long it takes. So 1.263, and this keeps on going, uh, more decimal places. But um, you know, again, we're rounding it to, to the tenths. So that, that would be the little shortcut that you would use for logs. Uh, the log of whatever you want to multiply by divided by the log of 1 plus the base. That's the, the shortcut. But again, you don't need logarithms to do this. You just need to understand what you're solving for in this sheet and how to ma manipulate this sheet. If you need to solve for time, um, you're just going to play around with this time value until this number gets as close as it can be to what you're wanting to get it to.